I just want this to be a warning to everybody out there who is after a bargain and on a budget, there is some people out to get you. All right, so my experience that I have had is with purchasing Pigma Microns. And what happened was I... Like I, I'm on a budget. I look for the cheapest thing I can get because I want to save as much money as possible. And sometimes that can work in your favor and sometimes that can be a complete scam. Since I've been getting the scroller boxes, I have been exposed to Pigma Microns and I love them. And I've always been really sold on the uni pin fine liners and I still am. They're still a good pen. But I really, really, really like the Pigma Microns. So I went hunting for the cheapest Pigma Microns I could get. And this right here is what I got. I got this from eBay and I won't tell you who the seller is. I don't want to name and shame. I just want people to be aware and look this you guys are probably aware of this like I'm not saying that I'm a dumbass because I this happened to me but it's just because I was after a you know I was after a, a good deal and you know me of all people should know you know should be able to smell a scam and I can usually smell a scam and I did have it in the back of my mind when I did get these but I still got them anyway, thinking that maybe this seller got them cheap. So the deal was, this is a nine pack of Pigma Microns, all, sort, all sorted sizes. And I got this for $15. Now, the, the deal was though, now this is where I should have smelt the scam, but I, you know, not really knowing how much these things cost, um, I, I sort of didn't do too much research. I just took it at face value and I just purchased them. This here is one pack. You got two packs. Two, this, I got another pack, which I've opened and they I, I ended up completely binning them um, because they were the worst ones. Um, yeah, you got two of these packs for fifteen dollars. You smelling a scam already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell that? That is some bullshit. So this this here was all the all the sizes. All right, from the, from the eBay seller right there this here I bought afterwards it's upside down but I'm like no <laughs> they're all gonna fall out if I turn it try and turn it around but this here is the proper packaging for Pigma microns now I got this set this is a set of eight various sizes I got this for twenty four dollars twenty four dollars and I got this from America I had to purchase these from America. $15 for 18. <laughs> $24 for 8. I will show you the difference. The difference between these and these. These are fake and these are real. Straight up, I studied these compared to the real ones. The color, the color of the barrel is a little tiny bit darker, a little tiny bit darker. This is the real one here, this is the fake. And the prints are different, but I don't know if this is off of an older pen or if this is just a fake print. Um, I, I, I really don't know, but there's the differences straight up if you just go around the barrel in the, in the ink too, the ink, the, like the print 
is really bold on the fake one, whereas it's not so bold on the legit one. But yeah, the barrel is definitely slightly darker on the fake on the fake one. And once again, you can see a bit bolder writing on yeah on the fake one. And once again, it's different here as well. These were marketed as waterproof, you know, high quality. Like the, it just read like it was too good to to be true. You've got the sizes. You've got the same as in here, but the only difference is I have an in the fake. I have an O4, and there's no there's no O4 in in this pack here. Now I don't know if there is a legit O4 in the Pigma Microns, but it's not in that pack right there. So what they don't include in this pack is I got a, um, a graphic a graphic pen there. Oh, there's no graphic pen in this one. Oh, there is a, a one. So it's supposed to be like really, really big, but you can see right there already, the tip is that pale. This one doesn't even work properly. When I swatched these, I could not believe it. Like it was, it was absolutely bullshit. Just these different colors. Like it, look at that. Like even the numbers are different colors. If you go across to the legit ones over here, they're, they're the same colors like nothing changes on these barrels with you know with the numbers like they're all exactly the same colors so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to swatch these and i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the difference look at that too straight up oh it's completely leaking As you can see straight up, you can even see the different tones in the fact that this one doesn't even work. That's a bluey tone. These here are all like a blue tone. They're more of a, like a warmer, um, gray. they're like a more of a black. Even these ones as well. But even this brush marker here, is like a bluey tone to it. Let's swatch the legit ones. There you go. So as you can see, the color tone is consistent. It's all the same color. It's all black. And then you compare that color to that over here. It's just, look at that. Isn't that just ridiculous? The fact that people can sell these and I honestly don't know how this eBay seller has a good reputation because I don't think that I would be the only one that would, you know, be be having issues like this. Like people who are buying these, unless unless it's just, you know, people look at that and go, I, I know that's not going to be legit, but because I'm, you know, I'm new to buying certain art supplies and I was just hoping that they were cheap and they were legit, <laughs> you know, that that's where it's it's gotten me, you know, like my being me being a tight ass has bitten me on the butt big time so what i'm going to do now like this is what's going to make you laugh i'm just going to let these dry for a bit then i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you what happens when you put water over these two okay so it's been some time now another thing too with these they are the lids don't even fit properly so yeah if you go to pull them off and you put them back on they don't even click in properly they're just 
They're just rubbish. These are dry now. I have left them for half an hour. Let's let's put some water over these so I can show you. Look at that. Isn't that ridiculous? I even left these to I even left these overnight. Uh, and it still didn't make a difference. So look at that. <laughs> that is apparently your waterproof high quality Pigma Microns for $15 for 18 of them. Don't I look like a dumbass? <laughs> now here's the real ones. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> there you go like I said straight up they came in this packaging so that straight up tells me that they, they, they are not legit they are fake they are supposed to look like that once again you open them up they've got different colors on the barrels the barrels are darker um, even I'm just having a look now like this barrel here is darker than this barrel and and then on closer inspection you'll see all the words are different um, all these um, purple tones for the numbers are different like different colors different tones um, the lids don't even uh, click properly and yeah like that that tip is that dry and white like there's it's like there's not even any any ink in there and then this one here look at that it's just it's just leaked everywhere honestly some art supplies you know you can't skimp you, you cannot search for a substitute if you do see pigma microns for cheap and in huge like a huge bundle like I got it's gonna be fake it is going to be fake the one thing I was happy about is I got in contact with the seller and I said to them I said these are fake like you've sold me fake pigma microns and then they wanted photos so I sent them photos I did up similar to this and I sent them to them and I even took photos of the dodgy nib and then they gave me my money back so I was happy that they gave me my money back and I told them um, because they gave me an excuse that they're you know they're gonna have to get in contact with their supplier and find out what's wrong and I'm like well yeah I, if and I actually I actually wrote to them I said honestly find a new supplier because you are getting ripped off and you are getting you are getting fake Pigma Microns sent directly to your customers because I am pretty convinced that these people who sold me this were drop shippers. So they don't even know what they're selling people. They are just getting them shipped straight out of China, straight to your door. They don't even see this product and straight up that is, that's just dodgy in itself. Moral of the story is don't buy Pigma Microns that are cheap because it's going to be a scam always buy the pigma microns that you can see the packaging in the photos these didn't even have packaging these showed the packaging <laughs> end of story i hope you guys have learned something i know i have learned something and uh, this this is never going to happen to me again because I have learnt my lesson. <laughs> like you guys probably already know about this. This is probably, I'm probably preaching to people who, you know, this is, you know, that you guys already know this, but for people out there who don't know this and have, you know, never, um, you know, never been through this or you, you know, you, you're new to this. Yeah, don't, don't buy, don't buy Pigment Microns cheap. I hope that's helped somebody out there, you know, with this, <laughs> even though you guys probably already know what the goal is, but yeah, um, 
Sorry there's no drawing today, I just wanted to whinge about this. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it from me. So videos will return to normal next time. Um, yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.